welcome to a brand new episode of the Winning Post brought to you in association with the Serum Institute of India. I am Alita Fernandez. Well, your usual hosts, Mohit and Mandara, are missing in action this weekend. But fret not because they have sent me here to give you all the racing action. And that too in this beautiful, breathtaking, exotic island of Mauritius for the Phoenix Maiden Cup. a very interesting piece of information that I am standing here on a piece of history. The Shodima race course is the third oldest race course in the world and the first in the southern hemisphere. Racing started here in the year 1812 and with 200 years of history the Mauritius Turf Club or the Shodima race course hosted the 2013 renewal of the Phoenix Maiden Cup or the Mauritius Derby on the 1st of September. The race is the club's most time-honoured race, one that every Mauritian horse owner and trainer wants to win. It's also a day when hats are done and the who's who of Mauritius turn up in their very best to watch the birth of another champion. Besides the gentry, the population of Mauritius turns up in huge numbers to root for their favourite horse attainment that has quite the same effect that horse racing has here. While horse racing occupies a prime position when it comes to sports in Mauritius, there's yet another sport that gains equal popularity, and that is golf. Located at the foot of the imposing, majestic and imperial Limoni Mountain is the Paradise Golf Club that has the beautiful azure sea to one side and the historic mountain standing tall at the other. The 18-hole par 72 golf course stretches over 5,924 meters and offers opportunities to both amateur as well as professional golfers with the added pleasure of teeing off in such picturesque surroundings. While golf enthusiasts are assured of being taken care of, Mauritius has something on offer for everyone and our hospitality partner Paradise Hotel and Golf Club stands as a strong testament to that. Now I am at the betting arena at the Morris's Tough Club and the atmosphere behind me is electrifying. Let's see what or who the buzz is all about. So tell me who's your favorite horse? Better. And why? But he did a good performance from the previous races, and uh, that's why. Your favorite is Vettel, where we're pro Vettel out here. I'd like to ask you, why are you betting on Vettel? It's a very good horse, classy horse. He very, very, very runs well. How is the atmosphere out here? Are the Mauritian people actually enjoying the derby? It's, it's a real atmosphere. It's uh, different from uh, the ordinary meetings. And uh, because it's the, it's the Maiden Cup, it's the equivalent of the Arc de Triomphe in France or the Epsom Derby in England. And so, are you betting at the Phoenix Maiden Cup? Yeah, I'll go for the. I'll, I'm betting. I'll go for the for the hot favorite. It's Vettel. It's from the Gajito stable. It's the oldest stable actually in Mauritius. So, and why are you actually betting on Vettel for? Because it's the it's the hot favorite. It's uh, but because of the maiden. Uh, it's uh, sometimes you have to be, to be, be aware that uh, a real outsider can win the race too. Hi, I welcome you to the winning post. Can I get your name please? Shamim. Shamim, are you having a good time at the Derby? A yeah, very good time. How excited are the Mauritian people out about the Derby? Uh, in fact, this one is the biggest race in Mauritius and you will see many people come from throughout uh, the country to assist to the Median Cup. I'd like to ask you, are you betting at the Phoenix Maiden Cup? Yeah. Vettel is your favorite horse, is that right? Uh, Vettel, yeah. Perfect. I would like to ask you, why are you betting on Vettel? Because this horse has got close and he's running on uh, the perfect distance for him. So I think he will win. Well, looks like Vettel from the Gajadar stable is enjoying maximum crowd support. 
While I go and put some money on him, why don't you guys take a break? <laughs> Just joining me in, well, I am in Mauritius at the Phoenix Maiden Cup. As you all know, Wettel out here is a hot favorite. Let us have a look at who the other contenders are. The Phoenix Maiden Cup, also known as the Mauritius Derby, is a Group 1 race run over a trip of a grueling 2,400 meters. This year's renewal fielded 11 horses who were competing for honour and a purse of over 2 million Mauritius rupees. In the parade ring was Vettel from the Gujadar stable who was coming into the contest with a success record of 2 wins from 3 starts. The 5 year old had Joanne Victor riding him and not surprisingly enjoyed the maximum support in the markets. The Jube Rousse trained Intercontinental was coming into this contest with a success record of one win from five starts and with Johnny Gerardou on his back seemed to be Vettel's main challenger. The Gujarat stable had another runner in Not Liable who was looking to share his maiden status here with Roland Boutini partnering him. His stable mate Akupa was coming into the fray with a success record of one win from five starts and was partnered by Sejon in the saddle. As the horses left the parade ring to make their way to the starting gates and with a bit of time on our hands before the final showdown. Well, there's a lot of excitement out here as the horses are being led into the gates. Let us head to the commentator for the call. L'Estelle vient de s'ouvrir sur la Phoenix Maiden Cup 2013 avec un bon départ pour Not Liable. Not Liable avec également bien parti Ice X. Vettel qui est à l'extérieur. Ça vient par la suite Code Rock, Silver Dice, Intercontinental qui est caché, Prince of Troy. Ensuite, on retrouve donc euh, Akupa, Solar Captain. Et puis, à sans longueur, il y a Bastidé. Bastidé qui précède lui-même euh, Rudy Rocks de deux euh, longueurs. Voilà Vettel qui prend les choses euh, en main maintenant euh, dans cette course. Euh, devant Ice Axe qui va suivre à l'extérieur de notre label. Code Rock, Intercontinental, Silver Dice en dehors de Prince of Troy. Akupa, Solar Captain euh, et toujours euh, à six longueurs, on retrouve... Le duo euh, Bastidé et, euh, et euh, bien sûr à l'arrière accompagné par Rudy Rocks dans la ligne droite pour la première fois dans ce Méden. Vettel qui montre la joie à Ice Axe sous les encouragements du public. Not Liable est bien placé en troisième position. Intercontinental en dehors de Code Rock. Silver Dice, Prince of Troy, Solar Captain, Akupa, Bastidé et Rudy Rocks se sont recollés au peloton. Bientôt plus que 1000 mètres à parcourir dans cette épreuve pour Vettel qui n'est pas inquiété en tête de cette course. Ice Axe est toujours en dehors donc de notre label. Intercontinental n'est pas mal. Code Rock, Silver Dice, Prince of Troy, Sola Captain, Akupa. À l'arrière, il y a toujours Rudy Rocks qui a dépassé Bastide. Bastide sans doute va attendre la ligne droite finale à 800 mètres du bonheur dans la Maiden Cup 2013. Vettel toujours en solide meneur devant Ice Axe qui devrait être dangereux. Not liable, Intercontinental qui suit le rythme. Code Rock, Silver Dice, Prince of Troy qui tente de se rapprocher. Tout comme cela, Captain Akupa, Rudy Rocks est lancé. Bastidé, l'ouvrage de Gall en dernière position. Environ 400 mètres du poteau. Vettel toujours en tête dans le Méden avec Ice Axe qui va essayer de revenir. Maintenant, Not liable dans le coup. Les choux entament le dernier virage avec Vettel qui va tourner en vainqueur. Johan Victoire et Vettel qui vont passer à la vitesse. Grand V, Vettel toujours devant. Intercontinental va faire l'histoire à l'extérieur. C'est bon de Johnny Jarulis. Intercontinental à Vettel à l'intérieur, Intercontinental qui a le meilleur standard, Intercontinental Vettel, Intercontinental, Intercontinental le 2 qui remporte le Médan, l'écurie Gilbert Roussette qui cause... Intercontinental scored a major upset as he crossed the winning post ahead of Vettel to take home the winner's share of over 1 million Mauritius rupees. He did that in a timing of 2 minutes 26.85. 
the other Gujarat stable runners not liable and Akupa took third and fourth places respectively. Firstly, hearty congratulations on the win. I would like to ask you, how do you feel about this victory? Look, it's very special, you know, um, uh, a lot of preparation, uh, as, you, as, you, as, as you know, for all these big races. And uh, look, we were the underdogs yeah. and uh, uh, we came out on top. So that's, that's, uh, that's, it's very satisfying. How confident were you about your horse winning? Look, I wouldn't say confidence, obviously, because um, there were two very, very good horses in the race. But I could tell you I had the Gatia horse in the race and um, he won the goat the gold, golden trophy uh, three weeks ago and uh, he had come at that race very well so he was super fit and uh, look we're quietly confident obviously you have to be coming into a race you got no ticket you got no chance but uh, uh, the race worked out absolutely perfect for me I had the, the first and second favorite right in front of me and uh, they were under pressure 600 out and I had so much horse underneath me I was just waiting for the straight to let him loose and, and the rest as they say is history <laughs> With celebrations in the air, the presentation ceremony was carried out with pomp and grandeur as a new champion had been hailed. Unfortunately, that's an end to my journey here in Mauritius. But do not worry, I will leave you with a few visuals of the exploring I did around the island. Remember, you can catch more on us on our Facebook page as well as on our YouTube channel. You can also follow us at Twitter at Mohit Lalwani on race day tips and more. The usual suspects Mohit and Mandaral will be back next week. Until then, thank you once again for joining me. And as I always say, may the horse be with you.